Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course in this episode we are going to be looking at the advantages and disadvantages of hard water. Advantages, advantages and disadvantages of hard water. So hard water has its advantages. It also has its disadvantages. Okay. So please do not forget to like this video. As you are watching this video, please click on that like button to make other students easily find the video. Do not forget to subscribe. Subscription is free. Look down now. Please look down and see whether your own is showing you red. If it's showing red subscribe button, then you have not subscribed to this channel. So just click on the red subscribe button. It's free to subscribe. Then of course, do not forget to what to keep sharing our videos. All right. And of fact, of course, know that this tutorial is brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam app. So please go to Play Store, download the application. It asks all you need. Pass questions, so uh, lecture notes. So according to Jam syllabus, so Jam mock exam every Saturday, everything is there. So please go and download and activate for just a, a little fee. All right, pay the price, activate. So let's see advantages and disadvantages of hard water. Let's begin with the disadvantages. I don't intend this class to be what long. So I'm just going to what rush through the advantages and disadvantages of what of hard water. So number one is what we start with disadvantages. Number one is furing of kettles or furring of kettles of kettles. Okay, this is furing or f u r o r o i n g. Okay, so whether it's furing or it's furring that you call it, all right, furring of what of kettle. All of us know what this is. So those of you that have what kettle in your house. Okay, so we're gonna have boilers, ring boilers in your house. Okay, that electric green boiler. Okay, you will see that after some time, after using it for some time, you discover that what well, are some whitish substances that attach themselves to what well, to those what well, kettles. Okay, and that under of the kettle you see it's not looking white. Okay, but for the boiler they attach themselves. Okay, I'm showing you a picture of what of a kettle that has or of a boiler that are undergoing or fueling. Okay, so fueling of what of kettle is a disadvantage. It's a disadvantage of what of what of uh, hard water because what well, it is formed by what by decomposition by decomposition of calcium hydrogen trioxocarbonate what for okay and then it leaves a deposit of what of CaCO3 all right so that is that for that okay so fluorine of kettle is a disadvantage of hard water then of course number two we also have um, stalagmite and stalactites number two. We have what stalactites and stalagmites. Okay, so these are two terms or are very easy to remember. Stalactites and stalagmites. Okay, this has happened appeared in a past question before, all right. So uh, stalactites, okay, they are formed from the what at the top of the cave. Okay, they are formed what they they they, 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 they grow or they hang from the wall, from the top of a cave. I don't know if I've ever seen a cave before, either in a movie or also, okay, or in a picture, anywhere. Okay, you see what, uh, there are cores, basically there are cores, when rain what, when rain dissolves what, limestone, okay? When rain dissolves what, limestone, all right? So as it dissolves what, limestone, it's what, brings itself back or, and attaches itself to what to caves okay so in in rocky areas all right in rocky areas where you have what limestone okay limestone deposit as rainfall it dissolves those limestone deposits and then what they now bring the same back and hang i'm showing you a picture of one now okay so it hangs on what at the top of the cave if, if it hangs at the top that's what we call what stalactites okay if it grows from the ground that's what we call what stalagmites okay so it's easy to remember this tea T for top grows from or hangs from or from the top of what of the cave. Why this one from the ground? G for ground. It grows from the ground up. All right. So stalactite and what and stalagmite is another word disadvantage of what of hard water. Then of course number three, hard water causes or leads to wastage of soap. Number three, hard water causes what wastage of soap. Okay, we say hard water is water who does not lather readily with soap. So you need what a high, a more, you need what more amount of soap to what to form ladder to be easily to easily what wash. Okay, so that is what wastage of soap. Hard water would lead to what wastage of soap. Also, 
Another uh, disadvantage of hard water is that it cannot be used in dyeing and tanning. Number four, it cannot be used. It cannot be used in dyeing and tanning. Okay, you know what dyeing is, all right? So, but tanning is what? It's treatment of what? Of hides and skin. Take note of all these things. Tanning is what? It's treatment. Treatment of hides. You know hides and skins now. Nah? Hides and what? And skins of animals to what? To produce leather. To produce, to produce leather. To produce leather. That is what tanning. Okay, so hard water cannot be used for dyeing and for tanning. So if you want to dye a cloth or do something like that, you cannot use what hard water. Okay, so also for tanning, it cannot be used for for tanning. Tanning we say is treatment of hide and skin to what to produce what leather. If not, the quality of leather will not be what will not be good. Okay, so that's why what uh, it's a it's a disadvantage to use what hard water. So these are disadvantage. Some of the disadvantage of what of hard water I want to what take a look at. So now let's we'll talk about what the advantage advantages on the other hand the advantages of hard water number one is that hard water tastes far far better than what than than soft water okay hard water tastes the taste of hard water okay i don't know if i've tasted or if i've drank rain water before okay the taste of hard water is what is what is better far far better okay all right so number one advantage advantages okay number one it tastes better than soft water okay and then also it contains calcium salts okay hard water contains calcium salts which are very very necessary or important for the development of our strong bones and teeth okay so number two it contains it contains what calcium salts salts which are necessary or which is necessary for the development of strong bones and what and teeth okay so that is another advantage of what of hard water over soft water so it contains what calcium salts okay it contains calcium salt, which is necessary for the development of what? Of strong bones and teeth. All right? So, for the building of strong bones and teeth, hard water is very, very what? Important. It is necessary. Okay? And, of course, uh, shell formation in snails and some sea animals. That's another advantage. Number three now, shell formation. Hard water what helps in what is shell formation. Shell formation in snails. In snails. And some what and some sea animals, okay, because of what of the word of of the dissolved minerals is a word of what of the sorts that had like the calcium sorts, okay. So as uh, it helps what in the what in the formation of what of shells, okay, shell formation in what in snails and some sea animals, okay. So that's another what advantage of what of hard water over soft water. Then very importantly also, it does not dissolve lead in lead pipes okay and does not what cause lead poisoning okay does not dissolve lead in lead pipes number four number four it does not dissolve lead in lead pipes okay and does not cause lead poisoning and does not what cause what lead poisoning all right, so that's another advantage of what of hard water. Okay, so hard water does not dissolve lead in lead pipes. Okay, no lead is, is very harmful. Okay, all right, it causes what cancer too. All right, so it does not dissolve lead in lead pipes and does not what lead to what lead what poisoning or lead poisoning as a case may be. So these are the some of the advantages and some of the disadvantages of hardness of water as you can see clearly from the board. All right, so please. Do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to keep sharing. Download your OTD school app today. Start practicing your way to success. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.